Baking soda will clean everything from teeth to sheets to shoes. And there is no ailment that a tablespoon of codfish liver oil can't cure. Hey, all right. Big mama talking about. That. That's what grandma's doing. But when I think about the wisdom of my mother, and I recall her relentless pursuits, I find myself catching my breath like I'm watching a daredevil, high wire, acrobat act, and there's no safety net. I was raised two hours south of the Canadian border. The winters there were so brutal that you could drive your car out onto the lake. And I know this because my dad drove his car out onto the lake with me in it. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> I do recall one winter, because my mother would never, right, never, ever, ever, drive her car out onto the lake. And this one particular winter, she petitioned my father for a new car. And my father, rightfully and vehemently, said, no. It's very interesting what happened <laughs> one morning before work. And my household was in such a way that everybody pretty much convened in one room and kind of went their separate ways in the morning. And this one particular morning, my mother um, was not herself. And I found her rummaging in my father's closet, which housed his unreturned army gear. And she selects this quilted face covering, and it's green, and it resembles a Michael Myers Friday the 13th hockey kind of mask. And she pulls the bands over her head, and she presses the mask closely against her face, and she starts mumbling things, and she's stomping around the room, and she starts to double layer clothing, her double layer of her hats and scarves and her socks and shirts and coat and gloves. And through the house, she continues to stomp and mumble until she gets to our storage area. And that's where she retrieved her transportation, her 10 speed bike. My mother pedaled eight miles in the blistering cold to her job. I looked at my father, I looked at my mother, and I looked at my father looking at my mother. And it's just like that daredevil high wire act of the, oh, this cannot be good, how does this end? And I don't remember how many days my mother went to rode her bike to work, but I do recall um, that my father finally relented and said, all right, Trish, I'll get you the car. <laughs> and I looked at him, I'm like, not, not you will. Like, this is, did this man not know that this is the woman, the woman he married wore a paper bag over her head to work. Mm -hmm. And with uh, the eyes cut out and the, and the breathing cut out, and then so she could fit a headset on her, her head. Because she was a telephone operator. And she sat in that office, I don't know how many days, with this paper bag adorned over her head, and she had written, Rochester Telephone Company unfair to its employees. All because her, her boss wouldn't allow her to take a break and talk to her sister who was having a perceivably mental health crisis in California again. This went on for I don't know how many days. Management starts to sweat. They prepare this nice meal for the staff because now her coworkers are starting to rally with her. They set it up in the break room. My mother gets a piece of white copy paper and writes a sentence on there. Be not deceived to the king's dainties, for they are deceitful meats. <laughs> she tapes it on the wall over the break room food. Now, 
we've got a heavy person, we've got action that needs to be taken. The union president comes in and starts to negotiate with my mother. Mm -mm. Eventually, the bag comes off, and surprisingly, or maybe unsurprisingly, she is now the union steward. <laughs> <laughs> These are just two of my mother's tales of unrelenting, unwavering determination. She went on to win three medals in track and field for the, Olymp the State Empire Games. Okay. While my brother and I were still adolescents. She documented each one of her accomplishments with a professional photo shoot in which she looked absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Her stories were delivered to me, passed on to me like a baton uh, and an Olympic torch. Uh, and I received those stories in real time for me as my inheritance. Thank you.